Hey, hey, Sanford here. Now, I um, really wanted to save this conversation for the weekend, but I just couldn't hang on to it. I had to talk about it because it was a very, a very poignant conversation that was had yesterday uh, when I was coaching the athletes. And when I was coaching athletes yesterday, I have two of my former um, cheerleading students who are now still cheerleading um, with other companies and they're still enjoying and loving loving the sport but um, before I go into that one of the biggest things that I want to and I really work on getting across to my students and anyone that I coach is I'm not here to make you right or wrong that is not my job so many athletes always want to ask me Sam what am I doing wrong what am I doing wrong? And I say to them, you're not doing anything wrong. Is there room for improvement? Yes. Can you make changes? Yes. Um, are there very specific questions you can ask me? Yes, very specific questions. When I sit down at the end of a class with my athletes, I always ask them a couple of things. One, I ask them what did they have the most fun with in class? What? What did they improve on in class? And what did they learn in class? And I've been doing this this probably, I don't know, maybe the last five, six, seven years, I've been doing this these sort of conversations toward the end of class. Because I feel if a student is truly engaged, they should be able to leave the class, go out to their parents' car, and their parents go, what you do in class? And they should be able to tell them. They should be able to tell a friend exactly what they did in class, what they learned in class, where they improved. Because then you know they're engaged. I know they're engaged. They know they're engaged. And they can walk away and say, I did that. I did that. I learned. I felt. I changed. I shifted. I gave. I loved. All of that. They can say all that. Okay? So, basically, I want to talk about today is... Um, it was three and a half, maybe four years ago when my business, my, my business went out of business. And I was standing there in the midst of this warehouse and all of my equipment had been sold, uh, all of my stuff was gone, and I was actually living in this warehouse because I didn't have any place to stay. The girl I was seeing at the time, she was behind me when I broke down and I just started crying. She was like, what's wrong, what's wrong? When I have a sense and a feeling that she knew what was wrong. And it wasn't the fact that uh, my business had failed. Well, it wasn't only that, okay? It wasn't only that. But it was the fact that I knew that soon she would be gone. And I knew within my heart that there was no one that I could could actually turn to because the people that I considered friends they they didn't know how to to cope with my loss they didn't know how to cope with my 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 change my, my feelings my emotions and this is probably the crux of the video today I don't believe you know being a emotional mental and physical intelligence coach that a lot of people actually want to be able to deal with emotions. I believe that they want to run away from their emotions. And I'm all about emotions. I believe the emotions help propel us to our greatness. They help us connect to our mental. They help us connect to our physical. They help that intelligence that all of us have to really be fueled and, and, and move us to surpass any challenge, any, any disaster, any mishap. But a lot of people try to avoid emotion altogether. Well, I believe that emotion is very useful, okay? I believe it is... You know, when you're in love, you know, when, I, when you're really in love, you know, you're with someone or you're thinking about someone and, and they just make you want to be a better person. They don't tell you. It's just something inside of you that makes you want to be a better person. That's what love does. That's what emotion does. I don't care what the emotion is. If you can use it to fuel your greatness, oh man, you would be on fire instead of avoiding it, which so many people do, which in my case, I believe when my business failed, so many of my 
former friends. I, I, I still call them friends, but, you know, I think a lot of them are feeling guilty or don't know how to approach me anymore because of that situation. And I believe that's something that they've done their whole life. They've always run from that emotion and they have no idea how to cope with it. Well, anyway, yesterday um, I was talking to the uh, athletes about relationships and what they mean, um, what they bring to relationships, um, what creates a strong relationship. And so we went around and we went around the circle and I asked each of them what they brought to the team, okay? And out of the 14, uh, there were 10 of them that knew and the other four uh, had no idea, okay? It sounds like a small number, but in essence, to me, it's a huge number because if you have no idea what you're bringing to a team, to your relationships, to your business, to any of that, then you're, you're lost. You're there waiting for everyone to tell you who to be, how to be, and what to do. Okay? As a coach, I believe that my job is to coach and to educate. Okay? I'm not there to tell people how to be, what to be, or, or, or what to do all the time. Okay? I give them the blueprint and then I let them go. I give them the blueprint and then I let them go and create. And as I said, there is no right or wrong. There's always ways to improve, to change, to shift, of course. Okay? So, but anyway, um, ask everyone, including the, the teacher, Mrs. Z, who's fantastic. She's been with us for many years, helping me coach this program. I just love her to death. She's, she's fantastic. Um, but I asked the one of the assistants, coaches, one of my former students, uh, what she brought. And she said that she brought experience. And uh, I, I thought that was fantastic because she's been in cheerleading with me for a long time, uh, with another company for a long time, and she wants to come in and help these athletes that I'm working with um, every Tuesday. So, um, and then she said, well, Sam, what is it that you bring? I said, well, I, I bring love. I bring experience, of course. And I bring this thing of never, ever giving up never give up you know and she looked at me and she said um, you know I, I know that about you you know when you when your business when your business failed and I had to go uh, to another club I felt so guilty and so bad that I thought that you hated me I thought that you hated me and so this goes to my point that so many of us don't know how to cope with emotion. We run from emotion. We're not sure how to really grasp that. And I've been guilty of that myself. But now I know that emotion is a fire, it's a fuel, and everyone has it. It's, it's, as I said in the past, it's like passing weather. Everyone has emotion and it comes in. The question is, is how do we hold on to the emotion so we can connect with a person or with what's going on one we got to ask questions two we reach out our arms we hug them we touch them three we say look I may not have the answers and I don't really know what's going on but I'm here four <laughs> we say it. we say I love you and I'm here what can I do I know it's not easy because we are so informed. These computers, this this Facebook, you know, trying to get as many likes as we possibly can. Um, you know, when, when we're in our cars, we're listening, you know, to our, our phones, we listen to the radio, we shut everything out. That's, that's a human connection, just so we can listen to someone on the other side of the world or some celebrity or some sports person instead of having our own little connections around us and connecting with those with true emotion true emotion so I just wanted to share that because I thought that was very profound um, and this young lady also said to me that uh, other than me other than me thinking other than her thinking that I hated her, that when, when, when she did call me, you know, in that time that I was going through all of that, you know, that, that, that turmoil of, of my business failing and, and the young lady that I was seeing leaving me, my friends departing me, um, my family breakdown, all those things were occurring. 
she would reach out every now and then to say, you know, Sanford, you know, how you going, what you doing? And I felt that she wasn't doing that, but yet she was told to do that by perhaps her mom. But after a while, um, I told her, you, you can call me anytime, you know, I'm still here, you know? I may have been a coach first, but I'm a friend forever, okay? And that's how I roll. Some people can't see that, you know, well, Sanford, how can you, how, 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 how can someone, you know, desert you or how can someone let you down or, you know, do you ever get mad at people? Well, yes, of course I get mad at people. Yes, I, you know, I'm human. But I understand one important thing, that being a human being means that I have the option to forgive. Because as Mark Twain said, I, I, believe, is, I believe it was Mark Twain, I want to get this quote, white, this quote right. He said, forgiveness is the fragrance that the violet sheds from the heel that is crushed it. Forgiveness is the fragrance that the violet sheds from the heel that is crushed it. There's no need to hang on to the animosity. There's no need to hang on to the pain because it's in the past. It's gone. You can't do that. The only thing you can do now is be present with everything that the Creator has given you. With everything that the Creator, uh, all the people that the Creator has put around you. All the opportunities that are happening for you. All the gifts that you have. Utilize those gifts. Utilize those people. Share your love, your extraordinary potential. I don't have time for hate. I don't have time to dislike people. <laughs> it's not my DNA and it's not where I want to be. Decide where and who and how you want to be. Hey guys, thanks for listening. I just wanted to share today. You guys have a wonderful day and as always, love your mission. Peace! <laughs>